I want you to remember, before you see what you're about to see, that you wanted this. This wasn't my idea. You asked for it, I said I would do it at a million, and here we are. One million subscribers. You might wish that you could forget what you're about to see, but you won't be able to. Children, cover your eyes, please. This is the end. God help me. Is... is this what you were expecting me to look like? Probably not, right? I remember when I existed in the void before I was born. This isn't what I thought I would look like, but I really had no say in the matter. This is it. Paul of Mitten Squad. In all of his glory. You're welcome. For the nightmares. I'm not sure how to fill time here before I get to anything else. I guess we'll jump right into the questions. Question 1. From none other than... This is good. You guys are in for a treat. From Mitten Squad. Hey idiot, when are you opening the cheese? You promised. That's a good question, me. A good question. A fair question, but tough. That's why I like me. The thing about the cheese is, uh, well, I'm kind of terrified of it. I would rather not open it unless I know that opening it wouldn't kill me. I don't want to breathe in any cheese fungus, have it grow inside my lungs and cause another pandemic. That would be kind of a bad thing, so I'm going to make sure that it's safe before I open it. I could just buy a gas mask and open it while wearing that, but like, I am just a little teeny tiny bit worried that when I open it, the difference in pressure will cause it to explode, and the gas will go everywhere, and the cheese will escape. That would be unfortunate for everyone in my city, and the country, and eventually the world. Next question. Question 1. Will you actually eat that piece of cheese you left in the fridge for so long? Alright, well first of all, it was on top of the fridge in a jar, so get your fucking facts straight. Number 2. And will I open it? I think I said I would open it at 10 million subscribers. So, get me there. Then, then we'll see. I lied about the first thing, so I'm probably not lying again. Question 2. Will you do a can you beat challenge while drunk? You have to be very drunk every time you progress through it, and also while you record the voice script. Uh, a drunk voiceover sounds horrible. If you've been with Drunk Mitten Squad in Discord, you know that I, uh, I kinda have a problem with words. When I'm very inebriated, it would be a, a monster of a task to record something while drunk. But I did have the idea to, uh, to play through A Tale of Two Wastelands. If you know what that is, it's Fallout 3 and New Vegas as, like, one game. You're one character, you can go back and forth between both games. And I thought maybe, maybe livestream that and, and take a shot every time I take damage. But, uh, it would have to be beer, not, not liquor. That would be horrible. I don't want to die until I'm in my late, late 20s. Next question. Would you ever consider doing a longer series of a game, like a full casual playthrough? I'd love to see you just play through a game casually as a series. Cyberpunk 2077 would be cool to see. If you're interested in it, of course. Wouldn't want to watch you play something you don't enjoy. Well, newsflash, you've already done that. Probably a lot. As for the full playthrough thing, I don't know. Maybe. I started a Fallout 76 run a couple weeks ago. It was just like Fallout 76 without drinking. I would play through the game normally, just like without drinking. That was like the challenge. But uh, I got two hours in and realized I didn't enjoy the game at all. Another one was Dark Souls. Play through the game like without losing your mind. Haven't gotten too far into that yet. So maybe, but I, I like doing challenges. But I don't see playing through a game without a challenge being as well received as anything else. I don't, I don't know if I really answered that question, but there you go. Question. Have there ever been challenges where you've gotten so angry that you scrapped the whole idea altogether? Also, how much did you drink due to that challenge? No, there hasn't been. I rarely scrap challenges. The only one I scrapped was, uh, Wolfenstein The New Order, but that was only because playing that game made me nauseous and gave me a headache. I tried playing it twice, it happened both times, so that video won't be coming out. But generally, even if I fail a challenge, I'm not gonna scrap the video altogether, I'll just say I failed the challenge and, and keep going. The closest I've come to scrapping a video is like one I've done and haven't gotten around to finishing the script for yet. Uh, Doom Eternal is probably the best example of that. I played through that game when it came out and the script is still, uh, I may be a third of the way through it. Linear games are always harder to write for than open world games, which is why that video isn't out yet. Question. We know your channel didn't start with in-game challenges, but what made you start doing them? Did you think it would be fun? You wanted to torture yourself? Thought it would be popular? Also, your old-ish lore videos are getting recommended again. Well, that's lovely. 
They were an extension of videos I'd already made. Like what if the courier died before Fall of New Vegas begins? What if the sole survivor died before they escaped the vault? That sort of thing. So can you beat Fall of New Vegas without attacking anything was an extension of that. I didn't see some other channel doing it and think, I could do that, but in Fallout, that's not, not the way it happened. The torturing myself is just a bonus. Hi there, Mitten Squad and friends, my question to you this fine and wonderful day is in your YouTube career, have you ever had any doubts that your entire channel would go under overnight, slash you would get deleted? No, I have not. It's surprisingly pretty difficult to get your entire channel shut down overnight. You would need three copyright strikes in the span of one evening, and for the kind of videos I make that would be difficult to achieve. It would have to be like, if Bethesda or Microsoft now suddenly decided that they didn't want gameplay videos of their games on YouTube, and they just decided to fucking slash every channel that did those. I can't think of any videos I've made that would warrant getting a strike over, because I haven't gotten one yet. Um, maybe the Fallout New Vegas full playthrough, because that's got copyrighted music in it, but that's been getting copyright claims for, for years now. The only thing I have been slightly worried about is getting more and more videos demonetized as time goes on. That was why I started censoring myself with the fucking bleeps, so that's not too much of an issue now. Do you really play on a Mac? If not, or if so, can we get a dedicated here on my specs? I will never talk about this again video section. Sure. I'll put up a screenshot of my specs right now. There you go. If you ever ask about the specs of my Mac again, you're gonna die. Next question, do you ever plan on branching out into other content? If so, will you create another YouTube channel for it, or will you upload it on this one? Well, I already have a second channel, Mitten Prime. I upload at least two videos a year to that channel, so go subscribe now. Uh, do I ever plan on branching out into other content? Probably not. I am pretty content making what I am now. I enjoy it. I like doing it. I can, I can pump them out at a reasonable pace. The only thing I've thought about doing is maybe doing live commentary for one of the challenges and putting it up on the second channel to see how that would do, but that's my only other idea. What is the game you want to challenge for the most but can't figure out what you would do? Also, what is your favorite most played game when you aren't recording? For the most part, if I want to do a challenge in a game, I can, I can try to find something that'll make it work. There aren't a bunch of games that I would want to play that I can't come up with some sort of a challenge for. I would like to do a challenge in like games I played a lot as a kid, like the old Dragon Ball Z Budokai games, or uh, SmackDown vs. Raw games, or Tony Hawk's Underground 2, but I can't think of any, any really good ones for that. Plus, they wouldn't be too popular anyways. As for what's my most played game when I aren't recording, that would be Halo 5. Halo 5 is now my most played game of all time. I've got, uh, let's see, I've got somewhere around 1100 hours in Halo 5. But I'm not good at the game, I only play the bullshit modes, like the ones where you respawn with a power weapon every time you die. I don't play like competitive nonsense. Do you make most of the thumbnail art for your channel? If so, do you have any formal training? I made most of the art, made most of the art for my channel for a long time. Most of it was just glorified tracing. Like I would find a, a Vault Boy picture that was a low resolution on Google Images, put it into Photoshop, use the pen tool to, to remake it with some nice clean lines, add some color, and that was it. Uh, I don't have any formal training. I took a Photoshop class a couple years ago in college that I learned almost nothing from. It was an easy credit. But these days, I have someone else making most of the art for me. His name is 100 Dark Star on Twitter. Well, I may be late, but oh well, I still have a question. Throughout all your playthroughs of Fallout 3, New Vegas, and 4, what did I just drop? Have you ever gotten tired of playing them and not really touched it for a while? That happens from time to time. Uh, most recently, I did three non-Fallout videos in a row. I think it was Metro, Last Light, Titanfall 2, Stardew Valley. So if I don't feel like playing them, I won't play them. Or if I don't feel like playing them, but I still want to get a video out, I'll just like watch something in the background. I did that with the Skeever run. I watched the 10th season of The Walking Dead while I played that. So, so that only makes it worse, doesn't it? How much time does it take to do a more creatively difficult Can You Beat episode? In terms of researching exploits, writing the script, trial and error that doesn't make it into the final cut or even get mentioned. Uh, there's not a lot of researching exploits, it's just like, go into the game with what I know about it and try to brute force my way through it. If I try to find some new exploit in the game, I usually mention it in the video that like, I got so stuck here that I paused the video and looked to YouTube to find a way to get through this. And as usual, the speedrunning experts know how to get through it. Shit like that. 
Um, for the average video, that's 18 minutes. It might take 25 hours to make, something around there. That's to play through the game, write the script, do the voiceover, edit, render, upload, metadata, thumbnail, all that sort of stuff. Question, what is your schedule like for recording? Do you record several runs at the same time, or do you try and plow through one as fast as possible? Thanks for the videos. You're welcome. I see you made a movie. That's pretty neat. I don't really have a schedule. Um, I do runs one at a time. I play through the game, do everything I just mentioned for it, then move on to the next video. I almost never do two runs at the same time, only because that makes it more difficult to do the script. The less time between finishing the game and writing the script, the easier it is to make, because I remember more of it, I don't have to skim through the video as much. That's part of why I haven't finished the Doom Eternal video I mentioned earlier, because I remember almost none of it now, so I, I have to like, I have to skim forward to see what I did, so that I can go back and explain what it is I was working towards, if that makes sense. Like, I'll go forward so I know what it is I'm doing, then I can go back and say, I did this so I can get here to go do this, to go do that, that sort of thing. Hey, friendly neighborhood powerhouse here, and I have to ask, oh, because you're the mitochondria. That's clever. As a fellow Michiganian Mich Michigan rooster, is snow a positive or a negative for thou? It's both. I enjoy snow. I like looking at it. It's pretty to look at. It makes the outside feel wonderful and Christmassy. Uh, and being outside when it's snowing is, is nice. It's just a wonderful feeling. But good god do I hate, I hate driving in snow. It's, there are a few things in life that I have to deal with that I hate more than driving in snow. What's even worse is when your tires get frozen to the ground and you can't drive in the first place. You go outside with a bunch of salt to put around the tires to melt the snow, then you get in the car to wait for the salt to melt the snow, and then you spill salt all over the place. Not that that would happen to me, I'm not, I'm not an idiot. Question, do you think beating your AC is considered domestic violence? No, of course it's not. It's an inanimate object. It doesn't have the balls to report anything, so it didn't happen. There's no video evidence. You only heard audio, you don't know what I was punching. I could have been punching my furnace for all you know. How much anger does the thought of a can you complete takedown in Modern Warfare 2 without taking damage video bring you? None, because I have no idea what that is. I would assume it's it's a, a special ops mission of some kind. I know other people have probably asked this, but I'd like to know, what inspired you to start YouTube? I am genuinely curious. Well, unfortunately, I am also curious as well, because I don't remember. I uploaded my first video to YouTube in September of 2009. That was 11 years ago. I was 13. It was just like, if you remember those old videos, how to, what do I have I can use as an example? Like, how to get AirPods on your paper towel. You take the AirPods, put them on the paper towel. But like, imagine that this was Grand Theft Auto 4 and this was an iPhone. That was, that was a horrible example. But that was like the kind of shit I did. It was not entertaining at all. So I really have no idea what started it. Question, do you have a face? I'm not gonna answer that. How much was the copy of Elmo's Letters Adventure? I believe it was $50, which is a hell of a bargain, considering how valuable that thing is. When you tell us about your high school life as a quiet kid, is it really true or just for laughs, and how's your college life going? College is none of your business, and the high school thing is 100% true. I was the quietest kid in my class. I mean, they voted for me as the quietest kid. It's not up for debate. There were many a day where literally all I said was here during attendance, and that was it. I, I was not a fan of the words as a youth. How many controllers, keyboards, etc. have you broken or almost broken doing the challenges? I think the closest I've come to breaking a controller during a challenge was Far Cry 3 or Borderlands 2 when I punched the shit out of my PS4 controller. I think I still have a scar on that. Maybe you can see it right, uh, right there. That one right there. That I think I started it during the Far Cry 3 video. It mostly healed and then I ripped it open again, punching the controller during my Borderlands 2 video. I've broken more controllers drinking and slamming them against the wall than I have doing challenges. Why Mitten Squad? I have to assume it was something to do with Michigan, going off your channel image and everything about you. Just a fan of the state. I wouldn't say I'm a fan. I explained this in my 100,000 Q&A video. The name Mitten Squad comes from me and one of my friends playing Halo 4 back in the day, 2012, before most of you were born. We, we fucking annihilated the other team, we went into game chat to gloat, I said you can't beat Mitten Squad because we're both from Michigan, Michigan is the Mitten State, not Wisconsin, go fuck yourself, everyone in Wisconsin, 
and that was it, the name just kinda stuck. Then me and that same friend did a Let's Play in Halo 3 back when I rebranded my channel from I Am Mitten to Mitten Squad, and that's how it was born. We only made a few videos together, but the name stuck. I liked it, so I kept it. Question, why do you hate your fourth grade teacher so much? Well, she's a cunt. She's a vile bitch who deserves every mean thing I've ever said about her. Even the whole watching her children die thing. I stand by that. She was not a good person, you would say. She would regularly leave the class for 20 to 30 minutes at a time to go out to the car to talk on her phone. Which is, you know, pretty not safe to leave 9 year olds unattended for 20 minutes in a classroom when there are scissors and, and glue and, and desks and stuff. Part of me wishes that one of the children had hurt themselves just so they would have had to go down to the office to say the teacher wasn't there to give them a band-aid. Not serious, not like slip out of the desk when they're sneezing and crack their head on the floor, but like, you know, stick their finger in a pencil sharpener and, and get it stuck. And turn it into a pencil, of course. Something like that. I would like to see her in jail, getting beaten by a, a bag of potatoes. If you don't drink Jameson through the Q&A face reveal, I will be disappointed. Really? You, you'll be disappointed. Let me just, let me, let me show you something. One. Two. You might need to ask your parents for help to, to keep track of what I'm going to go through here. These are some pretty big numbers. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Seven. Seven bottles. That wasn't even a question, but I think I answered that. What is the most inane, silly, or ridiculous challenge you've seen suggested in the comments that you refuse to do? I don't know, man. Maybe like Fallout 76 while I'm on fire? I wouldn't want to do that. I don't want to be on fire. I'll tell you this, though. I am pretty fucking sick of all the people telling me to play through Fallout 76 without seeing any glitches. To the people saying that, you're not as funny as you think you are. That being said, the most ridiculous challenge that I haven't seen suggested that I kinda think could be done, which is just like the complete opposite of this question, is Fallout New Vegas while underwater. I think that could be done, under the right circumstances. I would need a snorkel. Will we ever see Drunk Mitten Squad do a Can You Beat challenge? Didn't I answer that already? I think I did. Probably not. I don't like to drink while I'm recording challenges just because things will get out of hand. There's a, a Fallout New Vegas with only a recharger rifle that I did, that I started drinking during, and I might have maybe blacked out. Which is why you haven't seen that video yet. Is there going to be more cooking with Mitten Squad? There almost was. Almost. Some complete fucking freak sent me a picture of a box of mashed potatoes flavored with monster energy drink, and I thought I could do that. I bought the potatoes, I bought the monster, then some unfortunate stuff happened and I was out of town for several days, got home, forgot about the whole thing, and the potatoes rotted. Maybe one day, but probably not anytime soon. How did you come up with the Can You Beat series? I already answered that. Also, you're funny as shit. Don't talk about my feces, you freak. How many GameStop midnight releases have you been to? A big, fat, fucking zero. Oh no, that was the bad symbol. Uh, uh, big fat fucking zero. There you go. I haven't been to a midnight release. The closest I've come is, uh, is getting Modern Warfare 3 at like 11 in the morning. When I was a sophomore in high school because I lied to my parents about my grades, they thought I was doing really well when I wasn't. I was failing almost everything. And they let me skip school to get Modern Warfare 3 early. I only got to play it for like three hours. Fucking sucked. What are some upcoming challenges to look forward to? As I've already said, I don't really plan any of them in advance. Whatever I'm doing this week, I'm gonna do. I don't think about what's coming next week until until next week comes up. When Paul shows his face, the real game begins. Question, do you use enchanted forks in real life? No, because enchantments are for babies. The closest thing I have to an enchanted fork though is a fork that's been in my dishwasher since I moved in. I haven't touched it, I haven't moved it, and there it will remain until I move out. And then one day, long after I've since left, I'll return to this apartment, like the maniac that I am, and ask the current tenant, assuming there is one, if the fork I left behind is still there. And I haven't thought about what I'm gonna do after that. Maybe, maybe get arrested. Question, who does the artwork for your thumbnail pics? Answered that already. I really should have gone through these questions in advance after I took screenshots. Will there ever be this is where the real game begins merch, or is there already? There is. On my Teespring page, there's a mug, a... That's an ambulance. Probably can't hear that. A mug, 
a sticker and uh, and a face mask. A face mask saying this is where the real game begins might be in bad taste, but you know, I don't care. You've made wrestling references in a few of your videos. Who is your all-time favorite wrestler? The Undertaker is my favorite wrestler of all time. That being said, watching him in the last few years has not been great. He, uh, he should retire already. What made you start YouTube and would you change anything at all about your content? Anything at all? Anything? Honestly? I would love, just for one video, to not have a nasally voice. I think that would be cool. I would love to hear me without the nasaliness. Just one time. That's all I want. I feel like Paul is the type of guy whose voice doesn't match his face. Maybe. I wouldn't know. Question, what is the most alcohol you have drank in one night? I honestly don't know. Maybe. I know I did like 22 shots one night in the summer, but that was going back and forth between 70 and 80 proof. I try to keep track because, as I've said, I'm a maniac. I write down when I do the shots and what time I do them, but I really have no idea. The only sort of definitive answer I have for this question is the most I've drank in a week, which is two handles, which is something like 80 shots, I think. Do you have allergies? Why a skeever and not a mud crab? I do not have allergies, believe it or not. That might be hard to believe. And why a skeever and not a mud crab? Because there is no polymorph mud crab power in Skyrim. Do you actually want to show your face? If not, why do you give in to these terrible people who demand it? I don't really want to, but I gave my word, so here we are. I already lied about the cheese. Didn't want to lie about this too. Tell us a moment from middle school or high school that you think about often. There's one moment in particular that sticks out. It was, uh, 10th grade? Sophomore? History class? We were watching a video about the 1950s, I think. The teacher paused the video to ask a question. The question was simple. What is a chop shop? You know, to like take motorcycles and stuff too. Everyone raised their hand, almost everyone. For once in my life, I didn't want to look like an idiot, so I raised mine too. Of course, I got called on, and I didn't know the answer. I didn't, I didn't make anything up, I just said, I don't know the answer, I just wanted to raise my hand. There was an awkward silence for a moment. The teacher was like, uh, okay, and called on someone else. Nobody laughed, it wasn't funny, kinda is now. What's your opinion on water? I must know so I can die happy. As this apartment's resident hydro homie, I can say that water is pretty good. It's a great chaser, if you're trying to count calories. Genuine question, why do you always sound so congested? One, giant fucking honker. Two, it's possible that I might have a deviated septum. I almost always wear a nasal strip while I'm recording or sleeping, but uh, as you can see, I'm not wearing one, so I might be more nasally than usual, if that's even possible. Question, how many languages do you speak? I can barely speak one. According to my high school, I should have been able to speak some Spanish by the time I graduated, but I failed Spanish twice. And the school was so just like fed up with me that they didn't even make me retake it. I was allowed, I was given a pass. What's the most challenges you've had going at the same time? I know at one point I had more than one challenge going, but I don't remember what those were. What's your opinion on Microsoft buying Bethesda? I mean, honestly, I really don't give a fuck. I don't care. I mean, it's probably not great for PlayStation players, but I mean, I have an Xbox, so doesn't affect me all that much. I have a PlayStation, so I mean, I don't, I don't care. What's the easiest can you beat you've ever done? Probably one of the weapon restricted challenges like uh, Fallout 3 with only a repellent stick. The weapon restricted challenges, as long as the weapon isn't really weird, they're not too bad. I will say, I did finish the playthrough for an upcoming video, which is Fallout New Vegas with a weapon you're not supposed to be able to use, and that was pretty tough. Even on the easiest difficulty. I won't say what it is, I don't want to spoil it, but it's a firearm you're not supposed to have. Has there ever been a challenge you've given up on for any reason? I think I answered that already, didn't I? Uh, Wolfenstein The New Order is one. Pretty much the only reason I'll quit a challenge is if the game stops working. I recently attempted a, a New Vegas BB gun run, but the game kept crashing, so I just kinda gave up on that. Have you ever sneezed before? Believe it or not, I have, and this this nose, it makes a powerful loud sneeze. It doesn't help that I like to scream when I sneeze because it's funny, but I have sneezed. If you listen closely in the dead of night, you might be able to hear it. Question, where are you from? Wh where am I from? I'm not gonna answer that. Are you going to do a real life can you beat challenges? I have actually had an idea for one that I wanted to do in, in between semesters this summer, but the whole pandemic happened. I won't say what it is because I don't want anyone to steal my idea. From what I've seen, nobody has done it yet. All I'll say is that it would take a long time to do because it involves driving across the country to do it, but that's all I'll say. Question, what is your type of alcohol? I mean, did, did you see what I did you see what I pulled up from, from down there? 
I think you know what the answer to that is. Would you prefer a new Vegas remaster or a new Fallout? That's a good question. Probably a new Fallout. As much as I love New Vegas, I've, I've already played it, and a remaster would be great, but it wouldn't do much for me. A new Fallout with a new location, new characters, all that sort of shit. I would, I would prefer that. Why does your voice have so much Chad and Virgin energy at the same time? Is, is this a real question? Just look at me. Is this not the face of a maniac? Yeah, it is. Next question. What did child you want to do with his life? Let's, 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 let's go through my life. First thing I remember, I wanted to be a Dragon Ball Z character, uh, then a professional wrestler, then after high school I got a bit depressed, kinda wanted to die, then a YouTuber, which check mark on that, uh, and then now, I don't know, nothing I guess. Though at one point, from what I've been told by my parents, I wanted to get a pair of black jeans, black t-shirt, black truck, and go live under a tree. I haven't done that yet, but there's still time. How old are you? I am 24. Why do you hate yourself? You need professional help. Listen, if you keep saying mean things about me, you're the one who's gonna need professional help. Like, medical professional. I'll bully you into an early grave. How many buckets do you own in real life? Well, that raises the question. Is a trash can a bucket if it doesn't have a handle? If so, I have, like, two. If not, I have two. Did he show his face yet? The world may never know. Looks like that's the last question. I guess that's it then. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Thanks to the Champion Tier supporters as well as other channel members for making videos like this one possible. Join the Mitten Squad Discord server through a link in the video description. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.